that would be cool. Catalonia. So stay tuned for that next week for sure. Um, speaking of bikes, this is a nice oh, transition. Nice. Um, right. Last weekend, if you guys are in South Australia, you would uh, know what this is, the Pedal Pre series. Yep. Now, I had the opportunity to actually commentate there. And the privilege. Um, and the privilege, of course. <laughs> uh, privilege to an opportunity to commentate uh, at the Shell V Power Motorsport Park at the Bend. Uh, for the six hour, which was round two of the UniSA Australian HPV Super Series. And we had a whopping 173 bikes racing. It was crazy. How and, did you keep up? Oh, it was tough. It was <laughs> tough for sure. But I loved it. Every, every inch of that six hour race, I loved. Um, it's You can't get that experience anywhere else. Obviously, motorsport. But like you have so much free roam access. Um, and the yeah. paddock is so alive, full of people. I must admit, the Bend do host great events, but it's even better when I, I find that it's even better when it's a small event mm. because the access is well everywhere. You can go anywhere yeah. you want. There's no restrictions like when the, the V8 supercars head there, you know, you got your paddock passes and well, whatnot. You can't even go in the welcome center when the V8. Yeah, on. true. So yeah, good point. There Unless you go. you're checking in at the hotel. Yeah, exactly. Um, or you know, you're doing any, one of the experiences. But yeah, you're right. Um, yeah, the, the, the access you get around there mm. on a, you know, not a massive event yet still important is yeah. Second to none. You can literally go wherever you want. And it was a real amazing, cause the good thing about this is it's actually because it's already put there. It's yeah. a racetrack, right? It's a yep. permanent race course. Yep. It's all we have to do is put our stuff there. Turn we don't up. have to set it up or anything. No. It's ready to go. Turn up. Um, very, very easy. And then all, all the teams, um, use the, the pit garages. Um, for their, they fit all of them there. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So a lot, of, a lot of um. So they're basically two teams per garage, pretty much. Really, I thought it was more. Um, than and wow. a lot of teams actually have about four or five vehicles. Some of them do. Uh, okay. Not all of them, but yep. some of them. Yep. Um. So it does make sense, and it's a massive pit straight. It's a kilometer long. Yeah, um, it's a big, big. So straight. it's it's actually one of the largest and longest in Australia. Yep. Um, so there you go. But it was an incredible event. Um, it was a great day out for family. We had a Crows first Collingwood play as well on the big screen um, as <laughs> nice. well, which was really cool. Lots of food and Good catering. Game too. Good game. Yeah, and there's also a simulator in the bend as well. That's just cool. So where's the next round? So the next round is in Adelaide. We go to Victoria Park. Um, oh, yeah. But the best thing is it's called the Festival of Pedal Prix. Right. Uh, we're three days of racing. So not this race, for example, that we just did has all the categories. So we've got a total of seven categories. All of them were together. For yep. the Festival of Pedal Prix, they split it up into three races. Yep. So on the Friday race, we've got uh, S1 and C4, which is our junior primary, I believe. Uh, could be wrong there. Um, and our community four, which is under 13s. So the, okay. the little kids race on the Friday. On yep. the Saturday, we've got our uh, – bit of the bigger kids the more open category so c7 yep. c5 the fastest ones sure. um i don't know if you saw my socials where um that waddle racing because they yeah, won, yeah, they, they won. won at the bend yep. uh the overall winners is from that category pretty much so okay. c7 to c5 they're the fast ones and these are all high school students are they uh except for c for uh sevens and, okay because c7 is the open category okay, so, so anyone anyway. anyone over 19 i think okay um yep so lots of uni students and stuff like that sure. as well. Um, and, of course, on Sunday, we've got uh, S2 and S3, which is your high school and middle school. Yep. Um, and they'll race. For, each of these races are six hours long as well. What? Jeez. So um, wow. de- that's why they call it the Festival of Pedal Pre. So it's, Makes a, sense. it's fantastic. And yeah. when is this festival of so Pedal this, Pre? <laughs> so this festival uh, will take place on 14th and 16th of June. So it's only three three or four weeks away. So, yeah, three weeks. Uh, it's not too far away. So if you are interested and you want to get involved, it'll check it out. Town. It's a fantastic day for family. Just head to ahpvss.com for more information there. Uh, and just quick breeze, breeze over the results from the weekend. So... Uh, in uh, the top five of the C7 category, we've got uh, Ganya in Waddle with Waddle Racing, uh, and then Trump Trikes uh, in second place in Evo Team UniSA. Now, unfortunately, they actually had a rider down due to COVID the night before, um, but so they did really well considering. Uh, and then we've got Matrix Pro G, G- Trikes and Aurora Racing in fifth. Now, Aurora actually had a prank, um, a massive crash there, but they actually got back out. So. Uh, and they had some extensive damage. So considering that, they did rather well to finish in the five there. Uh, in terms of C6, we've got Trump Development Team taking the win for that one. C5, uh, Visper, uh, Wimira, uh, 
HPV Racing Club. Uh, and then C4, Pembroke, SA Great. Uh, in S3, we've got Centurion, uh, Pembroke as well. And uh, S2, you guessed it, Pembroke, uh, winning with their Phoenix machine. And in S1 is Highgate Hot Rod from Highgate School. So uh, fantastic from all those winners there. And everyone who uh, was involved throughout the weekend, it was sensational. Yeah, to see. great. My head down to the... Yeah, the festival, the pedal I, I highly recommend it. There's going to be catering and stuff like that as well. So plenty of fun. Plenty of weekend. bikes. You said 173. Yeah, and that was just that weekend. We'll probably have even oh, wow. more because um, yeah, yeah. I know there's a few teams that the haven't team. entered. Yeah, okay. Because um, not everyone can compete. Sure. 